we just saw a linear system in two dimensions and one linear one linear equation in two dimensions represents a line now a line is a one-dimensional object uh, so you could think of that as a line embedded in a plane uh, which will be a one-dimensional object so it looks like a basically a line a number line embedded in a plane a linear equation in three-dimensional space represents a plane which you could think of. So in three-dimensional space, a plane would just be uh, a two-dimensional two object. What happens when you uh, go up to higher dimensions? The basic pattern is if you have a linear equation in two space, your, sol your solution or your graph to that linear equation is one dimension less. In three dimensions, your graph is one dimension less. In four dimensions, your graph would be a three-dimensional linear object. Now it gets harder to visualize when you go up uh, higher dimensions, but in n dimensions, what is the graph going to represent an n minus one dimensional linear object? Uh, if you want to know more about this, uh, these are called hyperplanes and uh, you can take linear uh, algebra class and we'll look a lot more in depth into this. The solution to a system of equations is the intersection of all of their graphs. So we talked about what a single linear equation graph looks like in different dimensions. If you have multiple uh, systems, the solution is the intersection of all of their graphs. We'll start in two-dimensional space. You could have, in two-dimensional space, a linear uh, graph will be a line. So you could have parallel lines not touching, which would be no solution. They got no points in common. If they're not parallel, they have to cross in exactly one point. So if they're not parallel, you would have one solution, the example we just did. If they're parallel and they, uh, they could be the same line. And if they're parallel and they have one point in common, they have every point in common. And so the solution, they're the exact same line. So you intersect a line with itself and you get the line. So if they're parallel on the same line, we call this infinite solutions. Specifically, these, all these infinite solutions form a line. So we're going to get a little bit more particular about, it's not just infinite solutions. For example, the point up here would not be a solution. Only points in the line would be solutions. So infinite solutions doesn't mean every point is a solution. It means every point on the line is a solution. If we go up another dimension, you could have parallel planes and have no solution. So it's a little hard to do. Uh, three dimensions on paper, so I will be using objects here. So if you have parallel planes, they would not touch. So you could have two parallel planes and have no solutions. If your planes are not parallel, they will intersect. And how do they intersect? If you rotate this around, you see they intersect. If you look at the right angle, it looks like almost a point, but what's really the intersection is a line. So they would be intersecting in a line. Depending on how you looked at it, you could it would look more like a point, but they really intersect in a line. You have to think of these planes as infinite. Three planes, well, if two planes are the same, then uh, you're really just looking at um, the third plane, and that can be parallel and have no solutions, could intersect as a line. Another thing can happen if you have three uh, planes. If they're all not parallel, two of them intersect as a line, and then you have the third one intersecting, uh, let's say it cuts through like this, it could intersect uh, and only have exactly one point in common. So it is possible to still have a single point as our solution. And it's very hard to visualize in two dimensions. Uh, if you look on page 556 in the book, uh, they have a computer generated graph of three planes that intersect at a single point. Probably the easiest way to think about it is if all the three planes are perpendicular to each other, they would intersect right at that point down there. So these are the uh, possibilities in two and three dimensional space.